Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, today is another day. And we thank God for it. Because He has done so much for us. Because today is a day of blessing, a day of breakthrough, a day of success, a day of honey, a day that I believe everyone has made success and progress. And we thank God. Praise be to the Lord of the Most High. Before I continue, I must apologize to all my viewers. For the video I put I, I posted earlier, there was a mistake on it. There was a cutoff. And in it, um I did a correction for it, but I mistakenly posted the the incorrect one and deleted the correct one. So I didn't know that that was the one that uh, cut off that I posted but later that I got to realize it so I'm very sorry but uh, nothing bad we are going to continue from where the cutoff came about so we were speaking about um, the way to life and we got to a place that Mary had a pregnancy that uh, uh, Joseph didn't, didn't understand. He didn't buy the idea because he realized that Mary had a, a pregnancy or Mary had conceived without him being close to her, which means that Mary, some a, a, another man has laid Mary, Mary to bed before she had a pregnancy. So after which the the angel of the Lord came on and, and, and confided in him and told him in a vision that he has, she has conceived the Messiah, the Savior, and his name will be called Jesus. So today we are going to continue from where the whole thing was left. So Jesus Christ grew up he learned during his days of childhood he was learning and being trained by God and being prepared for the journey ahead so today I want to put it to you that if you see yourself not moving forward there is there is a, a walk a workmanship there is a, a process God is processing you God is, God is preparing you for the task ahead so don't lose hope keep on pushing keep on pushing and you will surely get it hallelujah because when Jesus Christ was born nobody recognized him as a child of God until his time was up that he started the miracles so don't think that today you are not doing anything or you are working idly, you are serving somebody, you are working under someone, that you that is all for you. You are preparing, God is preparing you. God is working things in you. God is working in you to bring you up to that level that you must be to fulfill His purpose. Hallelujah. So today, let's go to... 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 says that God made him who knew no sin to be seen for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God you see so after Jesus Christ started his work, he finished the work and he died on the cross. After dying for mankind. I spoke that in the other video. That's why I'm not 
emphasizing on it or I'm not explaining it into detail anymore so God now says that Jesus has taken away his blood has taken away our sins his blood has, has, has lifted up the sins of mankind and taken away all the sins of mankind is taken away our iniquities have been taken away by the blood of Jesus. We have been bought from the from the slave market. We have been redeemed from the slave slave market. So if that is why God said that is why God put on him the sins of mankind so that in him you can also become righteous you remember adam gave you the nature of sin the sinful nature christ came to die so that you can be clean you can be righteous you can be right standing before the father through him hallelujah In Romans chapter 10, verse 9, says that if you can only confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe with your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So which means that only to be saved and only to have this life, this way of life, this new life, this everlasting life, this eternal life, is just to confess your, with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe with your heart that God has raised him from the dead and is the Son of God that you will be saved. Hallelujah. So you don't have to do anything before... God cannot accept you as his son or his child. The only thing you need to do is to confess Christ, have faith in Christ, believe in Christ, and he alone will guarantee you before the Father, will confess the, before the Father that this is him that I know, and God will also automatically know you. Because the Father is in him, and we are also in him, and he is in us. That's why he said is the the, 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 the the vine and we are the branches. He is the vine and we are the branches. So we are all joined together as children of God in Christ. When you accept Christ and believe and have faith in him and believe in him, the only thing that what you become is you have come to join that vine that will now be producing water and food through you. I mean, through Christ, we receive all the blessings that comes from God. The righteousness, the Holy Spirit, which is the bundle that God has bundled for us. If you need power, it's in the Holy Spirit. If you need Healings is in the Holy Spirit. If you need power, a uh, uh, breakthrough is in the Holy Spirit. Blessings is in the Holy Spirit. Favor is in the Holy Spirit. Life is in the Holy Spirit. Peace is in the Holy Spirit. Joy is in the Holy Spirit. Health is in the Holy Spirit. So anything you need, the authority, the dominion, is in the Holy Spirit. The everything is in the Holy Spirit. So through Christ that you can get this. If you don't accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you are not yet have the mark. After you have accepted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and the old nature will, will depart from you, the Adam's nature, the sinful nature, the corrupted nature will depart from you. And the Holy, I mean the, 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 the righteousness of God will come to now stay in you 
which is a signal that connects to reach the Holy Spirit, which drags him little by little into your life. And you start manifesting Christ-like. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Christ resurrected, rise from the dead, he came to his disciples in the room. Through the wall, he walked through the wall. He didn't come with the door open. The new body that Christ had, that day was the day he brought the righteousness to the disciples. So he breathed the, the righteousness on them. The spirit, the, the born again spirit, he breathed the born again spirit on them. So when he breathed that spirit on them, the, whole, the, 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 the righteousness spirit on them, he told them to go and wait in Jerusalem for the helper to come, which is the Holy Spirit. And when he comes, when the Holy Spirit has come upon them, they will receive power, power to be the witness of Christ in Jerusalem, Samaria, and to the end of the world. So after you have accepted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, He has come to stay inside you. The, 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 the born again spirit is now in you. But it is now for you to seek for the, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. The spirit that comes to stay in you is a born again spirit, which will begin to manifest as, his, as the Holy Ghost. So when the Holy Spirit starts manifesting in you with the evidence of speaking in tongues, that is when you begin to know that you are now qualified to, do, to be the messenger of God. And God will do a marvelous work in your life. Hallelujah. So it is not all. When you become a child of God, there is too much to do. There is still much to work on. There is still much to, 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 to express. There is still much to seek. You have seek for the, the born again spirit and it has come by, by, uh, through which you have accepted Christ as your personal savior. Then the next thing is to seek for the presence of the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus told his disciples, when they were born again, he told them to go and wait for the Holy Spirit to come upon them. In Acts chapter 2 verse 1, go in, you'll find it there. Acts chapter 1 verse 8, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will receive power. You will receive power and power to do miracles, power to do things that you cannot even imagine. So being a born-again Christian does not end there. There is much to do. There is much to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, the Word of God is a seed. It's a seed. The Word of God is a seed. It's a seed. So the day you accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, that day, you have, you have proud your land. You have raised your yamans. You have prepared your land for planting inside your heart. So the second thing you need to do to have the armor of God in you or to, to be able to put on the, the full armor of God is to go to now study the word. To study the word and understand God. And know what God wants and what he doesn't want. And through that, you will be able to overcome 
challenges that comes on your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Let's pray. King of the universe, I thank you for today. And I pray that your Holy Spirit will keep on teaching us. And the word that goes out, anyone that come across it, this word will be a good seed. This word will be a good seed. That will germinate in their heart and produce good fruit and give them success. Thank you, Father, for what you have done. In Jesus' name. Amen.